Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Giraffery, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Beautify. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week I will be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, just every Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution 4. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your opinions in the comments section down below. But what would you keep? What would you change? And etc. And at the end of every video, we'll be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Beautify. Now, first things first, before we get into the main video, um, I'm pretty recording this video uh, pretty much before you guys see the Mega Giraffe Rig video. And pretty much, I checked out the video after when I uploaded to see if the audio was quiet or not, because I asked you guys to tell me if the audio was good or not. But like I said, I checked out the video after I uploaded it on YouTube to see if the audio was actually decent. And it wasn't, because the audio was really 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 quiet now you can still hear me but it was still very very quiet so I, I mean I got that like, a cheap mic that it was really really good for recording because it comes out crystal clear when I use it on my PlayStation so um, like I said it does come out uh, very very quiet on my like, recording for my computer so I'm not going to use it anymore it was just one of those little test things I just decided to try it uh, to record it for one of these videos and it didn't really work out too well so from now on or probably until I get a better mic. I'm going to be using the old mic that I've been using pretty much for uh, the Wack Mega Evolve video, so I do apologize about that. But anyways, today's Pokemon we are going to be talking about is Mega Beautify. Now, in the past, i done a Mega Dust Talks video, and for whatever reason, I didn't talk about Mega Beautify. I mean, I probably had it written down at the time when I was going to be talking about Mega Beautify, but either I probably either forgot or lost the paper where I was going to be talking about, like, the next few Pokemon, whatever the case may be. I Beautify legitimately just slipped my mind for whatever reason, and the reason why I mentioned Dust Docks is because Dust Docks and Beautify are kind of like Butterfree and Beedrill. They pretty much go together once they counteract uh, the counterpart to uh, one another. And like I said, I'm surprised I haven't done Beautify yet, just because I've done a Mega Dust Docks video in the past. So now is the is a really really good time than any to actually like talk about this Pokemon. So as you can tell from what I've done to its stats. I did increase everything but left its physical attack alone. Now obviously when it comes to Beautify, Beautify is not a physical attacker whatsoever. It's just like pretty much all like the bug Pokemon where you first uh, like catch at the beginning of the game. Like I said, like, uh, what is it? Uh, Beautify, Butterfree, like those types of Pokemon. Like it's not a physical attacker by any means, unlike like Mega Beedrill or Beedrill, no matter of fact. If I'm not mistaken, Dustox is a physical attacker as well. Um, but anyways, like I said, Beautify isn't a physical attacker by any means because it does get access to Quiver Dance and its special attack is a lot higher than its physical attack. So I decided to leave it alone and also not like decrease it by any means because I don't feel, I feel like, uh, uh, Beautify's. Uh, stats are, are somewhat okay to the point where I don't really think it needs to actually decrease a stat to increase another stat so I just decided to leave its physical attack alone. Now for its special attack I increased it from base 100 to base 130. Now I'm actually surprised that its special attack is at base 100. I thought it was going to be a lot lower probably like base 70 probably at the highest base 80 but it actually like I said surprised me and it was actually a base 100 so I wanted to give it a good chunk into its special attack to base 130 because once again Beautify is a special attack that gets access to Quiver Dance and with one Quiver Dance up I can see Beautify putting out a lot of damage or at least uh, being very very viable when it comes to competitive play so uh, it also does it does <laughs> sorry about that it does get access to Giga Drain, Bug Buzz, uh, uh, morning Sun if you want to pretty much have like Roost on this thing without having Roost, but I'm pretty sure this Pokemon does get access to Roost. Uh, let me check real quick. Oh my god. Stop. I'm sorry about that. My tablet just went crazy. 
Um, it does, uh, it does get access to Roost, so you can run Roost, so Quiver Dance, Roost, Giga Drain, and like, Bug Bus if you want to. But like I was saying, it does, does get access to Air Cutter, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't get access to Air Slash, so, um, I still think Air Cutter is somewhat a little bit decent, I mean, because it does land critical hits easier, so that is also on the plus side. It gets access to like, Psychic, Shadow Ball, uh, obviously Hidden Power, uh, Energy Ball, uh, Electro Rub, which is, it, which is a an electric type move, so that can also be good for coverage as well. But besides the point, Beautifly does get access to a very good variety of a special move pool, so it's not like like increasing it to base 130 is going to be bad and useless because like I said beautify is a special attacker now for both of its offenses I increased it from base 50 to base 70 now you would think that I'll probably increase its its special defense a little bit more than its physical defense just because like I said it does get access to quiver dance but I decided to just increase them both to base 70 beautify is still going to be a crippled Pokemon even with with a mega it's going to be kind of like mega Beedrill Beedrill's defenses are literally piss poor and even like moves that, that the Pokemon resist like Iron Head, for an example, is literally probably going to knock that thing out, or at least do more than like 80% to the Pokemon, because like I said, its defenses are still piss poor, but like I said, um, I decided to evenly increase them just because, like I said, there's really no point for me to increase one more, or one stat a little bit higher than the other. Uh, I think base 70 is, is pretty good for what it is. I mean, like I said, one quarter dance up and you're pretty much set to go. And uh, for its speed, I increased it from base 65 to base 95. I'm surprised uh, Beautifly is actually as slow as it is. I honestly thought it was like around base, like, I would say 80. 80, 75 to 80 is like what I thought its speed was going to be, but it is not sadly. So I increased the base 95. That way it has a little bit more speed control because, like I said, and I keep like mentioning it in this video, but it does get access to Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance is a very essential move when it comes to bug Pokemon that are like specially uh, offensive, like Butterfree, Beautify, for example, uh, Volcarona, like those three Pokemon that I mentioned gets access to Quiver Dance and Quiver Dance is literally like one of the best setup moves in the game I would say because it, it increases three stats unlike Dragon Dance when it increases only two because Quiver Dance increases special attack, special defense and also speed and with one Quiver Dance up with, from a Beautifly I can see this or that's a Beautifly Oh, anyways, um, with a plus one from Quiver Dance uh, on a Beautifly, I can see this thing being a very big threat when it comes to competitive play. Now, as for tier-wise, if I'm not mistaken, it is in the PU tier or the lowest tier possible. I can't really remember off the top of my head. So, if this thing does get a Mega like this, I could potentially see this thing probably uh, getting uh, put a tier higher, maybe. Like, if I... Uh, I say a tier higher, like at most, is what I actually see Beautifly in, or should I say a Mega Beautifly? So, uh, with the stats I've given, I feel like they're going to be really, really balanced. And I, with a special attack at base 130, I can see this thing putting in a lot of work when it comes to competitive play. Now, as a regular Beautifly, its base stats at 395, and with the Mega Evolution, it's going to be at 495. Now, for its ability, I decided to give it a OP ability, which is adaptability. Now, obviously, uh, Mega Beetro does get access to this ability, so I. I want to give a special variant uh, the adaptability ability because if you don't know what that does pretty much if I'm not mistaken uh, adaptability increases uh, the damage output of the typing of that Pokemon so like for instance beautify is part bug and flying so like bug and flying type moves are gonna get a little bit of a boost so like moves like bug buzz and like air cutter they're gonna be doing a little bit more damage because of the adaptability ability now the reason why I've given it this type of an ability is because like I see this thing having so much great potential when it when, if it receives a mega evolution and since like it doesn't really have that much firepower I would say uh, even with like base 130 special attack I want to or uh, what I ignore that but um, when it comes to firepower I feel like giving it the adaptability ability would actually make this thing a little bit better in the long run so that's why I've given it as well and for its typing I left it alone as bug flying there really was no reason for me to actually uh, change its typing whatsoever I feel like bug flying is a perfect typing for this thing uh, so with all that said uh, there is mega but a uh, uh, beautify so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to comment and subscribe
subscribe. I'm sorry if I was a little bit all over the place in this video. I've just been recording all day and just... I'm, I'm kind of just exhausted and burnt out. So, uh, I do apologize if like I was a little bit all over the place. So, anyways, guys, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Now, the next few Pokemon we are going to be talking about are from 3rd Gen. So, we are going to be staying at 3rd Gen for a little bit. So, the next Pokemon we are going to be talking about is a very underrated Pokemon that I honestly, like, think it deserves a mega evolution and that is Swalot. So like I said, uh, next week we are going to be talking about Mega Swalot. So like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to comment and subscribe. And this is White Boy for the win and I'll catch you guys later.